Greetings. Once again, we connect to enhance our learnings further. So today, the objective at hand is going to be getting ourselves familiarized with the manage Windows controls command. It's basically a you know useful command in order to be able to work with the Windows application environment, and that is where this command you know comes in useful. Manage Windows controls. So, uh, with that particular perspective in mind, we will go and try to understand what's the use case that we will be trying to achieve over here. What we want to do is, we would like to create a new user. So, let's say, you know, I've got a list of users which I have with me, which need to be repeatedly created. So, uh, we will see, you know, how we can go and create one user. If you can do that, you can definitely, you know, keep adding more users to it. So, objective is first and foremost to open this, you know, area, application area of our Windows uh, system. And once that opens, we want to click on local users and groups. Click on users, choose action, and then click on this new user so that this new user, you know, uh, image comes in. I will go and type the username. I will uncheck this box, given the password, confirm password, choose password never expires and once that is done, we will go and click on create. That should go and get the job done. So, that is the objective, that is the plan at hand. So, let us see how Manage Windows Controls allows us to achieve this, uh, you know, objective which we are trying to uh, achieve. First and foremost, you want to open this, you know, window also programmatically, which we are doing using start, run, and then, you know, this uh, command combo over here. So, for that, what I will do is, I will bring in my open program file, and that is going to go and launch this window. So, whatever I, you know, start, run can do, this command can simulate that. This will open this window, so that it opens like this, and uh, just to be on the safe side, you know, let me just go and see how this window opens you know, checking it parallelly on the side and it's not opening full screen. So, what I would like also to do is to, you know, bring it full screen. So, I will bring a maximize window command wherein I will choose this window computer management so that it comes in full screen and that's where we are at the moment. We will go and save this as manage windows control. So, that is where we want this one. So, two actions done, we have gone and you know, opened this particular, we have maximized this. Now, we want to start recording our action. First of all, we want to expand this local users and groups. So, for that, what I will do is, I will drag this manage windows controls over here and we will go and select that computer management window. We click on capture, bring it over local users and groups and let us say I want to open this by double clicking so that it opens. So, I am going to save it and let me go and run it from this step. So, see you know whether this produces this desired result or not because other steps I have already done manually. So, just you know trying to ascertain that my recording goes smoothly from here. Opens this local users and groups as you can see. Next thing you want to click is select this users you know option over here. So, for that we will go and choose users next. So, let me just go and bring a manage windows control again and pick up the same window, capture the users and select item by text. We want to select this users so that the users get selected and I have gone and done that. And further once the user selected, I want to then go and click on this action at the top so that I can create a new user from there. So, manage windows controls and computer management, capture this particular one. So, click item by text action. So, this should then happen. So, let me go and see what has happened so far after the last time we went and you know ran and uh, opened this local users and groups. The other two actions that we have just recorded, I am just going and you know playing them out opens the users and actions and you can see the action menu has opened under that I can see a new user uh, has come over here. If I can just go and run this one again, 
want to show you something real quick over here. So, it was in this state and I am going to go and run it from this one over here again. Opens user. Now, if you notice very carefully, the new user has N highlighted. That means by pressing, if I press N on the keyboard, it should launch the uh, new user dialog, which I will now try to bring in using my coding. So, to do that, what I will do is I will drag insert keystrokes over here and I am going to say inside this computer management window, let us bring in this capital N and we will save it and we can save it from the top. And now let us try to replicate the steps from uh, this point onwards. Let us go and run it from there. So, run from this step and here we go once again. Goes and you can see it has opened this dialog. This is the way we wanted to come by our actions. Now, the username and password is what I need to key in. I need to uncheck this box, check this box and create it. So, that is what I want to do next. So, to do that, I will now go and again take a manage windows controls and again take this computer management. Now, this time the window has changed to new user because this is this new window. We want to work inside this. So, I am going to say capture the username. We will give it a name as test test user and I can go and save it. Then again manage windows controls, new user the dialog, capture, uncheck this box. Status of the box is unchecked, so uncheck it is. Then I need to set my passwords, so I will go and again set the new user box, capture the password over here. So, maybe it is going to be A, B, C, D has to be repeated again. So, again at the bottom also, uh, oops, user capture, confirm password, maybe again A, B, C, D has to be the same as the one that we just saw. And then I want to go and select this box, which is, you know, uh, password never expires. So, for that I am clicking on new user, click on capture and I choose password now expires. So, we check that box and once all this thing is done, well, so I will just put in some dummy values you know so that this thing the create button comes up, it is coming now and I want to go and click on create next. So, manage windows controls and new user, capture, click on create, that will do the job. Notice for the username and password, we had the option of putting in variables. So, actually we could you know keep reading the value from some location and keep writing the values over here or you can prompt so that the user can enter the values otherwise these values could have been read from an excel or a spreadsheet and you know you could have been looping through these last lines doing this thing again and again for a couple of users that you wish to add. So, that thing is totally possible over here. We can uh, go and do that if we uh, wish to do that, totally possible to do that. So, once you have gone and done this, we can uh, you know uh, proceed to go and uh, execute this and uh, let us see what happens. So, I am going to first of all go and save this and we are going to go and close this. So, I am going to close this one, I am going to close this window and let us go and take it for a run from here. So, running it. Oops. Uh, 
my bad the slash s which i was giving uh, seems you know you don't need to give that over here if i go and you know in start run when i was giving slash it it seems to work over here but here if you just give uh, comp mime.msc that seems to do the trick so let's now go and try to get this thing running so i'm going to go and save it and we're going to go and run it so let's see whether the script goes and does the trick so now we should be able to get our user created over there and i am just going and running that one username going in you can see the password password never expires and that's gone and done it i can close this one and i can see the user did get created this is what we wanted so in case you know you wanted a series of you know uh as I would say, you know, uh, new items to be added, new users to be added over here. Then we could have uh, done that over here also. Uh, process would have been very simple. Let's say, you know, that I go over here and let's say I'll just create, you know, very quickly I'll create a text document and give it a name as uh, users to create and uh, maybe name and password. This is what I want. So ABC uh, ABC one two three DF uh, uh, maybe DF one two three and then GHI. I am just one moment and GHI maybe GHI one two three and maybe one more to go. I mean oh. MNO123 and I can go and, go and save it. That goes and does the trick. Now let's go back inside. So what I'll do is I this part of the script needs to be enhanced. So what I will do is I'll just you know bring a read from CSV text over here and uh, make it a text document. So saying users create. Uh, Leading spaces, trading spaces, need to be chopped off, delimitrace comma, that's what we want. Save it, that you know brings us inside this loop. And maybe I want to skip the header row, so what I can do is I can just go and say something like uh, put a check condition if variable. For the first row, you want to skip that, so for the first row counter is going to be 1 so counter is greater than 1 then you know we want to take all these values in so read from the text file if counter is greater than 1 then in the text box where you're entering the user name we will enter the first field which is file data column 1 that is the name of the user and then for passwords we, that is the second column of my table, uh, text file, excuse me, which is file data column 2. And we will repeat that over here also. And that is again file data column 2. So that goes and takes care of the password. So, and once all this is done, probably, you know, let me just bring up that box again real quick because I would like to close that also programmatically last thing is to close this box so we'll just go and close that also so last but not the least manage windows controls i can just in user capture this close button and close that should close it and also we'll go inside window actions close window which would be the window computer management save it the window should also be closed so that's now the action so we should be able to create these users so that's the you know a b c d f g h i m n o let's see if we're able to do that so let's go and try to run this so here we go about running this once again we have just enhanced that script to be able to go and create a couple of users and we're just going and trying to get that thing running. Oops, my bad, my bad. 
this was supposed to be already closed. So let me just go and delete that. So maybe I want to put a check over here, uh, something on these lines. Uh, something you want to check in advance. If window exists, you'll say if window does not exist, computer management. Uh, then you go and uh, open it. Then you maximize, you go forward. And here again, I will bring this action new user also. And we can maybe check that also. If window uh, does not exist, uh, new user. Then only you go and you know bring in this keystroke, otherwise, it's already there, so we can let that be. So, time to go and run this one and let's check this one out. So, if window does not exist, if the computer management window is already open, is not open, then you open it, and if the new user window is not open, then only you open it. And Maybe I want to put this check. No, it's, I think otherwise we should be good. So let's go and run this one and see what happens. First user in the process of getting created. Then you have the second user going in and then the next third user it doesn't refresh the screen in the background once all the users have been created and it's closed down then I will open it and show it to you uh, it did actually show it for a moment's time but nevertheless let me just open this and show it to you real quick if I go inside local users and groups, I can see these users A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, M, N, O have been created. So, that was, you know, just to give you an idea about these, uh, let me go and get rid of these users. So, that was basically, you know, our, uh, as I would say, uh, manage Windows controls useful in the context where you want to you know automate on some windows based environments works purely and purely only in the object mode and uh, that's basically what this is all about so that was you know just to bring us all on on board with respect to the manage windows controls command we saw how we can go and you know capture our uh, computer management area where we can go and manipulate our system and we saw how we can facilitate the process of automatically creating a users from a text file on a local system that's what we just showcased so something on those lines for us so this is what I wanted to showcase and I do hope everybody is comfortable till here and until uh, the next learning thank you